The Wagner Group's Faustian Bargain, Security at the Cost of Liberty, a shadowy force in the heart of Africa, the Central African Republic, CAR, a nation plagued by conflict and instability, has become a battleground for a new kind of military actor, the Wagner Group. This shadowy Russian paramilitary organization has been operating in the CAR since 2017, providing security services to the government and its allies. The Wagner Group's presence in the CAR has been met with a mixed reaction. Some Central Africans welcome the group's help in fighting rebels and restoring order, while others fear that its involvement will only exacerbate the country's problems. In this video, we will explore the Wagner Group's activities in the CAR, examining its impact on security, stability, and human rights. We will also hear from Central Africans who have had first-hand experience with the group. Wagner's impact on security and stability. Since it arrived in the CAR, the Wagner Group has played a significant role in the country's security situation. The group has helped to retake control of several towns from rebel forces, and it has also provided security for government officials and institutions. However, the Wagner Group's presence has also been linked to an increase in violence, including extrajudicial killings and torture. Human rights groups have accused the group of committing serious abuses against civilians. Security at the cost of liberty? The Wagner Group's impact on the CAR stability is complex and multifaceted. On the one hand, the group has helped to reduce the level of violence in some parts of the country. On the other hand, its involvement has raised concerns about human rights and democratic governance. Central Africans are caught in a difficult position, forced to weigh the benefits of security against the risks of repression. For many, the Wagner Group's presence represents a Faustian bargain, security at the cost of liberty. Wagner's grip on the Central African Republic, a nation torn between protection and oppression. The Wagner Group's influence in the CAR extends far beyond its security operations. The group has also been accused of interfering in politics, influencing government decisions, and enriching its members through illicit activities. This level of influence has raised concerns about the CAR's sovereignty and democratic institutions. Some experts argue that the Wagner Group is effectively running the country from behind the scenes. How Russia's private army is reshaping the Central African Republic. The Wagner Group's presence in the CAR is part of a broader trend of Russian involvement in the African continent. Russia has been increasing its military and economic presence in Africa in recent years, and the Wagner Group is a key part of this strategy. The group's operations in the CAR are seen as a way for Russia to gain influence in a strategically important region, as well as to test new military tactics and equipment. Security versus Stability in the Central African Republic The Wagner Group's presence in the CAR highlights the complex challenges facing the country. While the group has helped to reduce the level of violence, its involvement has also raised concerns about human rights, democracy, and sovereignty. The CAR's government faces a difficult balancing act. It needs to find a way to provide security for its citizens while also upholding its democratic values and protecting its sovereignty. Navigating the Wagner Group's shadowy influence The Wagner Group's presence in the Central African Republic has transformed the country's political landscape and raised serious concerns about human rights and democratic governance. The CAR's future will depend on its ability to navigate the Wagner Group's shadowy influence and find a path towards sustainable peace and security. A love-hate relationship, Central Africans weigh the pros and cons of the Wagner Group's presence. The Central African Republic, CAR, has become a battleground for a complex and controversial relationship between the government and the Wagner Group, a Russian paramilitary organization. While some Central Africans view the Wagner Group as a savior, bringing stability and security to a country plagued by conflict, others see them as a threat to democracy and human rights. Wagner's Mixed Bag Benefits and Drawbacks of Their Presence Proponents of the Wagner Group's presence in the CAR point to the group's role in helping to retake control of several towns from rebel forces, restoring order to areas that had been ravaged by violence. They also argue that the Wagner Group's military expertise has been crucial in providing security for government officials and institutions. However, the Wagner Group's presence has also been linked to a rise in human rights abuses. Reports of extrajudicial killings, torture, and other atrocities have surfaced, casting a shadow over the group's reputation and raising concerns about its true intentions. A Faustian bargain, security at what cost? The mixed reaction to the Wagner Group's presence in the CAR reflects the complex trade-off between security and human rights. 
For some Central Africans, the Wagner Group's ability to restore order outweighs the risks of their involvement. They see the group as a necessary evil, providing the stability needed to rebuild their country. Others, however, view the Wagner Group's presence as a threat to their fundamental freedoms. They fear that the group's influence will undermine democratic institutions and erode their hard-earned rights. A nation torn, navigating the Wagner Dilemma The Wagner Group's presence in the CAR has left Central Africans grappling with a dilemma. They are caught between the desire for peace and security and the need to protect their democratic values and human rights. The CAR's government faces a critical challenge in managing this delicate balance. It must find a way to address the country's security needs without compromising on its commitment to democracy and human rights. Navigating a shadowy influence, the future of the Wagner Group in the CAR. As the Wagner Group continues to operate in the CAR, the country's future remains uncertain. The group's shadowy influence and questionable activities raise concerns about the long-term stability and democratic trajectory of the CAR. Only time will tell whether the Wagner Group's presence will prove to be a temporary solution or a permanent fixture in the CAR's political landscape. The country's fate hangs in the balance, as its citizens grapple with the mixed blessings of the Wagner Group's involvement. A shadowy force in the Central African Republic In the heart of the Central African Republic, a shadowy organization, the Wagner Group, is playing a pivotal role in the country's volatile political landscape. Shrouded in secrecy and controversy, the Wagner Group is a Russian paramilitary organization that has been accused of human rights abuses, involvement in illegal mining activities, and propping up authoritarian regimes around the globe. Origins and alleged ties to the Kremlin The Wagner Group's origins can be traced back to the mid-2010s, when it was reportedly founded by Yevgeny Prigozhin, a close ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin. While the group officially maintains a veneer of independence, there are strong suspicions that it operates at the behest of the Kremlin, serving as a proxy for Russian foreign policy interests. Deployment in the Central African Republic The Wagner Group's presence in the Central African Republic, CAR, dates back to 2018, when it was invited by the government of President Faustin Archange Tadera to assist in combating rebel groups. The group quickly became a powerful force in the country, providing military training, logistical support, and security for government officials. Allegations of Human Rights Abuses The Wagner Group's involvement in the CAR has been marred by serious allegations of human rights abuses. Human rights organizations have accused the group of extrajudicial killings, torture, and rape. These abuses have further exacerbated the country's already dire humanitarian situation. Mining interests and resource exploitation In addition to its military role, the Wagner Group is also alleged to be involved in illegal mining activities in the CAR. The group is reportedly exploiting the country's rich natural resources, including gold, diamonds, and uranium, to enrich its backers. This exploitation is contributing to the CAR's rampant corruption and deepening poverty, international concerns, and calls for accountability. The Wagner Group's activities in the CAR have drawn widespread international condemnation. The United States, the European Union, and the United Nations have all expressed concern about the group's human rights abuses and its destabilizing influence in the region, a force with deeper implications. The Wagner Group's presence in the Central African Republic is not merely a localized issue. It represents a broader pattern of Russian involvement in African conflicts, raising concerns about the Kremlin's intentions and the potential for further destabilization on the continent. The Wagner Group's actions in the CAR underscore the need for stronger international cooperation to address the human rights crisis and combat the illegal exploitation of natural resources. The Wagner Group has been shrouded in controversy since its inception. The group is alleged to have ties to the Kremlin and has been accused of human rights abuses, involvement in illegal mining activities, and propping up authoritarian regimes around the globe. The group's presence in the Central African Republic has been particularly controversial, with allegations of human rights abuses and illegal mining activities. The Wagner Group's involvement in the Central African Republic has been marked by both controversy and, to some extent, positive contributions. On the one hand, the group has been accused of human rights abuses and involvement in illegal mining activities, raising concerns about its destabilizing influence on the country. On the other hand, the Wagner Group has also played a role in stabilizing the country and improving security, particularly in the early stages of its deployment.
One of the most notable achievements of the Wagner Group has been its role in retaking towns from rebel forces. In 2018, the group played a key part in the recapture of Bangasu, a strategic town located in the southeastern part of the country. Following this victory, the Wagner Group continued to secure other towns and villages, helping to establish a degree of stability in areas that had previously been under the control of rebel groups. Another significant contribution of the Wagner Group has been its role in securing the country's main airport in Bangui. The airport is a vital infrastructure asset, serving as the gateway for humanitarian aid and essential supplies. By securing the airport and its surrounding area, the Wagner Group has ensured that humanitarian assistance can continue to reach those in need and that essential imports can enter the country. It is important to note that these positive contributions should be weighed against the serious allegations of human rights abuses and illegal mining activities that have been leveled against the Wagner Group. While the group has played a role in stabilizing parts of the country, its actions have also contributed to the suffering of civilians and the erosion of democratic institutions. Overall, the Wagner Group's presence in the Central African Republic has had a complex and mixed impact. The group has provided some stability and security, but its actions have also been marred by controversy and accusations of human rights abuses and illegal activities. The country's long-term stability will depend on finding a balance between security and respect for human rights and the rule of law. The Wagner Group has been accused of a range of human rights abuses in the Central African Republic, including extrajudicial killings, torture, rape, and arbitrary detention. These allegations have been documented by a number of human rights organizations, including Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, and the United Nations. In one particularly disturbing incident, in February 2021, Wagner Group troops were accused of massacring 30 civilians in the village of Sandana. The victims were reportedly unarmed and were shot or hacked to death. Other allegations against the Wagner Group include the use of excessive force against civilians, the destruction of civilian property, and the intimidation of journalists and human rights workers. The group has denied all of these allegations, but there is a growing body of evidence to support them. The United Nations has called for an investigation into the Wagner Group's activities in the CAR, but so far no such investigation has been launched. The allegations of human rights abuses by the Wagner Group are a serious concern. They point to a pattern of impunity and a disregard for the rule of law. If these allegations are true, the Wagner Group should be held accountable for its actions. The Wagner Group's activities in the Central African Republic are part of a broader pattern of Russian involvement in African conflicts. The Kremlin is believed to be using the Wagner Group to expand its influence on the continent and to support authoritarian regimes. This raises concerns about the potential for further destabilization in Africa. The international community needs to take steps to address the human rights crisis in the Central African Republic and to prevent the Wagner Group from further destabilizing the region. This includes supporting the government's efforts to build a more inclusive and accountable security force, promoting dialogue among the country's different armed groups, and holding those responsible for human rights abuses accountable. Here is a video about the Wagner Group in the Central African Republic. U.S. Bancroft Group to replace Russia's Wagner in CAR? Vantage with Paki Sharma by First Post. According to the video, the Wagner Group has been accused of human rights abuses, including extrajudicial killings, torture, rape, and arbitrary detention. However, the group has denied these allegations. The video also discusses the potential for the Wagner Group to be replaced by a U.S. mercenary group, Bancroft. Bancroft is reportedly linked to the U.S. State Department. The video does not provide interviews with Central Africans who support and oppose the Wagner Group's presence. The Wagner Group and the Central African Republic, a complex relationship. The Wagner Group, a Russian paramilitary organization, has been operating in the Central African Republic, CAR, since 2018, under a contract with the CAR government. The group has been accused of human rights abuses, including extrajudicial killings, torture, rape, and arbitrary detention. However, it is also believed to have played a role in stabilizing the country and improving security, particularly in the early stages of its deployment. Those who support the Wagner Group's presence in the CAR cite a number of reasons for their support, including the group's perceived effectiveness in fighting rebels, the lack of alternative security providers, and the Wagner Group's support for the government. The Wagner Group's effectiveness in fighting rebels the Wagner Group's arrival in the CAR coincided with a period of increased violence in the country. 
The group quickly gained a reputation for its effectiveness in combat, and it played a key role in recapturing a number of towns from rebel groups. This helped to improve security in some areas of the country, and it provided some relief to civilians who had been suffering from the conflict. However, the Wagner Group's methods have been criticized, and there have been concerns about its impact on civilians. Human rights organizations have accused the group of committing human rights abuses, and there is evidence to suggest that its presence has contributed to the displacement of civilians. The lack of alternative security providers. The CAR has a history of political instability and violence, and it has struggled to build a strong and effective security force. The government's armed forces have been weakened by years of conflict, and they have been accused of human rights abuses of their own. In this context, the Wagner Group has filled a void in the security sector. The group has provided the government with a reliable and capable fighting force, and it has helped to deter rebel attacks. This has contributed to a degree of stability in some areas of the country. However, the reliance on the Wagner Group has also raised concerns about the country's long-term security. The group is a foreign mercenary force, and its presence is not sustainable in the long term. Moreover, the Wagner Group's involvement in the CAR has attracted international criticism, and it has strained the country's relations with its neighbors. The Wagner Group's support for the government The Wagner Group is believed to be closely aligned with the CAR government, and it has been accused of propping up the regime of President Faustin Archange Tadera. The group's presence has helped to consolidate Tadera's power, and it has provided him with a counterweight to the influence of rebel groups. However, the Wagner Group's support for the government has also been criticized. Some observers believe that the group is helping to undermine democracy in the CAR, and they argue that it is working to maintain a corrupt and oppressive regime. The Wagner Group's presence in the Central African Republic is a complex issue with no easy answers. The group has provided some stability and security to the country, but it has also been accused of human rights abuses and of propping up an authoritarian regime. The group's long-term impact on the CAR is uncertain, and it is likely to continue to be a source of controversy. The Wagner Group is a Russian paramilitary organization that has been operating in the Central African Republic CAR, since 2018. The group has been accused of human rights abuses, including extrajudicial killings, torture, rape, and arbitrary detention. The group has also been accused of propping up the CAR government and undermining democracy in the country. Despite these allegations, some Central Africans support the Wagner Group's presence in the country, citing its perceived effectiveness in fighting rebels. Critics argue that the group's presence is not sustainable in the long term and that it is undermining the country's security. The Wagner Group's impact on the CAR is complex and uncertain, and it is likely to continue to be a source of controversy. The Wagner Group's presence in the Central African Republic CAR, has been met with mixed reactions, with some Central Africans supporting the group and others opposing it. Those who support the Wagner Group's presence in the CAR cite several reasons for their support, including the group's perceived effectiveness in fighting rebels, the lack of alternative security providers, and the Wagner Group's support for the government. However, many oppose the Wagner Group's presence in the CAR. These critics argue that the group is responsible for human rights abuses, is not sustainable in the long term, and is undermining the country's security. The situation in the Central African Republic is indeed complex, with no easy answers. The Wagner Group's presence has had both positive and negative impacts on the country. While it has provided some stability and security in some areas, it has also been accused of human rights abuses and of propping up an authoritarian regime. It is important to be cautious when analyzing the Wagner Group's role in the CAR. There are several different perspectives on the issue, and it is important to consider all of the evidence before forming an opinion. What do you think about the Wagner Group's presence in the Central African Republic? Do you think the Wagner Group's positive contributions outweigh its negative impacts? What role should the international community play in addressing the situation in the CAR? What can be done to hold the Wagner Group accountable for its actions? What are the long-term implications of the Wagner Group's presence in the CAR? The Wagner Group is a Russian paramilitary organization that has been fighting against a variety of armed groups in the Central African Republic CAR, since 2018. These groups include the Salika Rebel Coalition, the Union for Peace in the Central African Republic UPC, and the Front for the Restoration of Unity and Democracy FURD. The Wagner Group's involvement in the CAR has been motivated by a number of factors, including to prop up the CAR government, 
The Wagner Group is believed to be closely aligned with the CAR government, and it has been accused of propping up the regime of President Faustin R. Change Tadera. The group's presence has helped to consolidate Tadera's power, and it has provided him with a counterweight to the influence of rebel groups. To gain access to natural resources, the CAR is rich in natural resources, including gold, diamonds, and uranium. The Wagner Group is believed to be interested in exploiting these resources, and it has been accused of engaging in illegal mining activities. To advance Russian interests, the Wagner Group is believed to be a proxy for the Russian government, and its involvement in the CAR is seen as a way for Russia to expand its influence in Africa. Russia has been increasingly active in the continent in recent years, and it is seen as a rival to the United States for influence. The Wagner Group's presence in the CAR has been controversial, and it has been accused of human rights abuses. However, some Central Africans support the group's presence, citing its perceived effectiveness in fighting rebels. The long-term implications of the Wagner Group's presence in the CAR are uncertain. It is possible that the group will help to stabilize the country, but it is also possible that it will prolong the conflict and undermine democracy. The international response to the Wagner Group's presence in the Central African Republic CAR, has been mixed. Some countries have condemned the Wagner Group's activities, while others have expressed support for the group's role in stabilizing the country. United Nations The United Nations has repeatedly condemned the Wagner Group's activities in the CAR. In 2021, the UN Security Council adopted a resolution calling on all foreign mercenaries to leave the country. The resolution also called for an investigation into the Wagner Group's alleged human rights abuses. In addition, the UN has supported the CAR government's efforts to build a more professional and accountable security force. The UN Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in the Central African Republic, MINESCA, has provided training and support to the CAR Armed Forces. African Union The African Union has also expressed concern about the Wagner Group's presence in the CAR. The AU has called for the group to withdraw from the country and has condemned its alleged human rights abuses. However, the AU has also been criticized for its inaction on the issue. Some observers believe that the AU is reluctant to take a strong stance against Russia due to its own interests in maintaining good relations with Moscow. European Union The European Union has also condemned the Wagner Group's activities in the CAR. In 2022, the EU imposed sanctions on several individuals and entities linked to the group. The sanctions aim to restrict the group's access to financial resources and to disrupt its operations. United States The United States has been particularly critical of the Wagner Group's presence in the CAR. The U.S. government has imposed sanctions on the group and its leaders, and it has called for the group to withdraw from the country. The U.S. government has also provided support to the CAR government and to MINESCA. The U.S. has provided military training and equipment to the CAR Armed Forces, and it has also provided funding for humanitarian assistance. Other countries Several other countries have condemned the Wagner Group's activities in the CAR, including France, Germany, and the United Kingdom. These countries have expressed concerns about the group's alleged human rights abuses and its destabilizing impact on the country. However, some countries have also expressed support for the Wagner Group's role in stabilizing the CAR. These countries argue that the group has helped to reduce violence and improve security in the country. Conclusion The international response to the Wagner Group's presence in the CAR is complex and divided. Some countries have condemned the group's activities, while others have expressed support for its role in stabilizing the country. The situation is likely to remain volatile in the coming years, as the CAR government, the Wagner Group, and the international community continue to grapple with the challenges of peace and stability. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth explorations of global affairs. Remember, we're all part of this journey together. Let's keep exploring, learning, and growing. Until next time, stay curious and keep spreading those positive vibes. Thanks for joining in. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment, and hit subscribe to stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way.